Uh, section 8, selection of mayor. I would like to add the following. If there is only one candidate, council member, for the office, that candidate shall be selected automatically. If there is more than one candidate, then the senior council member, in consecutive years or portions thereof, who has not yet been mayor, will automatically become mayor. In the case of a seniority tie, then the council member with the most votes in that election will be designated as mayor. That would apply if two people were both elected in the same year and had the exact same years on the council. The outgoing mayor will automatically drop to the bottom of the seniority list that will be maintained by the city clerk. Selection of the vice mayor, same basic terms. And then the modifications of this section may be done, if, uh, may be done uh, after a public hearing within 45 days of advance notice. This defines a rotation, uh, makes a defined rotation, allows for the council, if it agrees that there's only one candidate, which has happened on occasion, fine, that person goes in regardless of the rotation. If there's more than one candidate, then the uh, senior council member in consecutive years or portions thereof, who has not been mayor for the longest time, will automatically become mayor. Uh, it's a defined rotation. 